And we do have breaking news for both of you. The CIA just announcing that Director Bill Burns has tested positive for COVID. Director Burns is fully vaccinated. He was boosted and he saw President Biden yesterday morning during a socially distanced briefing. Uh, he was wearing an N95 mask during that meeting, according to his office. We know, uh, Jeremy, you know the uh, CIA director so well, and you, of course, were chief of staff at CIA. He is working from home, so he's no longer briefing the president in person, but working from home. Yeah, Andrew, first of all, I think the, the, the issue here is he's going to be able to discharge his duties, and he's playing an absolutely indispensable role in collecting intelligence and analyzing it, presenting it to the president, and also conducting other special activities, as they say, uh, with respect to the, the war effort. But the real question is, you know, how, how is the White House going to be able to navigate this little boomlet of, of COVID outbreak that we're, we're, we're noticing uh, when the president himself, obviously, is someone they're trying to protect? Um, and, and there's no substitute for these face-to-face -face conversations. But given technology today, they can hold NSC meetings with a lot of people on virtual teleconferences with classified systems. So I don't think this will in any way disrupt our prosecution of the war effort, but it is something that obviously right. White House officials are going to watch carefully. Sure, after the press secretary and then the deputy press secretary, the, they've, they've seen uh, how careful they have to be.